Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with another laser cut Tinkercad project. Friends, we're going to make a tiny bookshelf, so let's get cracking. Of course, friends, the first step is to hit create new design, and when it loads, let's call it tiny bookshelf, and let's add our initials so that way it's easy to tell whose is whose. The next step, friends, is I want you to hit edit grid, and we have to backspace and make this 480 and 240 so they fit our Glowforge bed. When you've got yours looking like that, we can start adding pieces. Once again, we're gonna use the awesome tab system and we're gonna use four millimeter cardboard. So bring out a box, first pick its height, I'll do fit view so we can get close. You can look at it from a corner and because we're using cardboard, we're gonna type size four. I'm gonna zoom back a little bit and I wanna make this a rectangle that is 160 by 88. Now the reason we're doing 88 is because we're going to add tabs on here so that means we just put four millimeters on each side 80 plus 4 plus 4 is 88. Now I used to add the tabs separately today we're going to subtract because I found when we send them as SVGs we're a little bit more successful when we do this. So now that we've got the back I'm going to make it yellow just so it shows up different and let's make that first hole. When it comes out, I'm gonna tell you that it always has to be 30 in this direction. And then once again, because it's cardboard, we need to make it four and press enter and find the height and make it four and press enter. Remember, if you're having trouble seeing that, you can always hit fit view so that you get it lined up perfectly. We are gonna take this piece and duplicate it. I'm gonna put a couple of them over here. Notice I did control D and I've got them ready to use. I want to take my first one, I'm going to click it once, I'm going to hold shift and click the other shape, and I want to hit align, make the yellow one the master, and I want to put it on the right edge, bottom edge. I'm going to grab that one again and do control D. I'm going to switch my nudge to five millimeters, and I'm going to just nudge it close to the top by holding the arrow key. To make sure it's perfect, I'm going to select the two of them, click align, and I want to put it at the top. I'm gonna bring this one over here. I'm gonna use the shift click. So I'm showing you lots of ways. We're gonna shift click the shape so it says two shapes. Once again, we're gonna choose a line, make the yellow one the boss, and we want it instantly on the left edge, and we want it in the middle. So we have just built one side of our back. Friends, if you shift click, one, two, three. You can do control D, nudge it to the other side to get it perfect. We're just going to grab a rectangle that only touches those. So I'm not touching these. We're going to do a line. Once again, the yellow one is the boss. Bam. Just like that, group it, and you have made the back of your bookshelf. Let's really quickly make the shelf. It's pretty much the same technique. Bring out a red piece. We'll actually leave this one red. Once again, we're going to make it 88 because it has to go all the way across. And we're going to change this size to 4 and press enter. So it's the thickness of cardboard. And then we want the depth to be 50 and press enter. Now we need to cut out the edges. We're going to take one of these shapes and we're going to adjust it. I'm going to tell you the magic number we want to change it to instead of 30. We want to make it 12. We want to bring it to this shape. So we're going to hold down shift and select it. Do a line. And we want to bring it to the edge and the front corner. It's that easy control D move it to the other side I'm gonna just nudge it across and then we select click a line make the red one the boss and boom those two pieces are in place so friends I've done a little bit of math for you we want to take our second one and we want to make it instead of 30 to size 8 once again we're gonna select these two pieces notice it says 2 we're going to click a line, make the red one the boss. We want that to be left edge, and if you accidentally misclick, just select it again, and we want to make it back edge. So what we've done, friends, is we've subtracted 20. 12 and 8 is 20, so we've left 30. I'm going to click on that piece, do control D, use the arrow key to push it across, grab the two of them, click a line, make the red one the boss, and friends, we have just created our shelf, grab everything, and group it check it out sweet cutout corners ready to be used for the next part 
All right, everybody, the last piece we need to make is a side. Let's bring it out and let's make this one green just so it shows up different. Once again, find that height. If you need to zoom in so you can see it better, that's fine. Hit size four and press enter because once again, still working with cardboard. I'm gonna move this a little out of the way so I can use it in a minute. And let's change our measurements. The numbers for this one are 160. Zoom out so we can see the bottom of this. And we've gotta change it to 54. Notice the four is because we're having this back layer added. 50 will be how far these spread across. So I've done all this figuring for you. Now we just need to cut the holes. The coolest way to make this happen is to do Control D, Nudge, and Control D. With one of these selected, I'm gonna hold down Shift. I'm gonna click a line. I'm gonna make the green one the boss. And I want it to go to the middle and to the back. So this is where I'm gonna fake cut a hole. So to understand that this is fake cut, I'm gonna make it really tall, and I'm gonna also make it red. So we're not gonna cut it, it's just gonna be here for a minute. So we wanna take this other piece, and we wanna connect it to that spot. So by doing work plane on this edge, I can now click the one piece and hit D. With it dropped, we're gonna hit work plane. I'm gonna draw a rectangle that touches those two, and if I do a line and a line, we want it to be right there. That spot is now perfect for connecting. We're gonna do the same thing over here. Once again, work plane. We want it to connect to that spot. Hit D to drop. Shut off your work plane because then we can touch the two shapes, do a line, and then instantly bring it over to the exact spot. When you've got those two perfect, delete the red one and group it, and you are halfway done with the cool side that are gonna connect our bookshelf. Friends, I accidentally got rid of all my little 4x4x30s. I'm going to fix that by ungrouping. I'm going to click back on one, and I'm going to do Control D. I'm going to carry this one over here. I'm going to leave these ungrouped. I'll group them in a minute. I just want to make sure I don't move it. I'm going to change that to 90 degrees, and then this one is going to connect down here at the bottom. So I'm going to arrange, make the green the master, and I want it to come to the bottom edge, middle edge, just like that. All right, friends, this is where it gets magnificent, but you gotta be careful. Make sure you have turned on the five millimeter nudge. Click on this one piece, and you're gonna do Control D. And instead of just nudge, you're gonna do Shift Nudge, and it just automatically moved 10 times five, which is 50 millimeters. If you let go and do Control D again and again, you have just instantly placed where our shelves are gonna be, just like that. Shift nudge and the five millimeter equaled 50. We can now grab this entire part and group it. Alrighty friends, so our parts are built, but let me just show you something that we're gonna double check. I'm gonna bring the red one over here. I'm gonna select both of these and let me show you that because of an adjustment I made, if we hit yellow and we line it up and I'm just gonna nudge it with the arrow keys, it doesn't fit. And let me show you what I did that caused this. So I want you to double click on the yellow one because that's how you modify. And what I did was to get the spacing even, I added 10. So then all of a sudden my smart math I made didn't work anymore. So if we zoom in, all we need to do is click on that small piece and move one click or five millimeters down. So make sure you have the five millimeter nudge on, then go down to the bottom one, move five millimeters up. Notice now how this is gonna plug in, and this is gonna plug in, and then on the other side go one click up and one click down as well. This is one of my favorite parts of this type of project is we get to test assemble before we cut so then we've got a better chance of it working. Now this shape will be perfect. I'm gonna bring these back over and get them arranged a little bit for when we cut them out. Let me right now show you how to do the test assembly so we can prove it fits. Uh, I'm gonna do Control D, simply move all of this over here, and then we're gonna take this piece and stand it up. I like to start by hitting Fit View, look at it from a corner. This is our rotation in this axis, and rotate it 90 degrees. One easy way is to just type the 90. When you press Enter, hit D to drop, and that is what the back is gonna look like. We need to stand this one up as well. Once again, rotate 90 degrees easier to type the number and then hit D to drop. 
This one needs to be rotated as well. My favorite way here is to just click the little point of the arrow and then type the 90. Now that is the wrong way because we want this tab to the back. So I'm gonna hit that arrow again and I'm gonna just make it turn 180 again. We could have also done flip, which is pretty cool. I'm gonna grab those two pieces. Notice it says two shapes. I'm gonna click a line, make the yellow one the boss and I wanna go to this edge and I wanna go to the back dot. Friends, those two fit like a glove. Control D, move it across to the other side. To get it to the exact spot, draw a box that just touches the two, double check that it says two shapes, hit a line, make the yellow one the boss, and snap. You have just got your bookshelf in place and you're double checking and those tabs fit sweet. Friends, now let's grab the shelf and I'm gonna just get these two pieces. You can also shift click, so green, and then red. Two pieces, a line, make the green one the boss. We wanna go back edge and we wanna go left edge. Notice that doesn't fit perfect. It's cause we gotta move it to the front edge. I messed that up. So we're gonna click a line, click on this and choose front edge. Now it fits where it's supposed to be. Now friends, this is really cool. If you click on this piece, do control D, lift the cone as high as you want but then in the distance type 50, it'll snap to the exact right level. And then if you don't touch anything else, if you do control D and control D, you have just built your bookshelf. You can double check. Alrighty friends, so this is why we build like this. Check it out, green and yellow colliding. We've got to fix one more piece. Now the easiest way to fix this is on the yellow. Friends, let's do fit view and zoom in on it. Once again, we've got the placement good. So I'm gonna double click but that nub is in the way. So I am going to fit view so you can see the little black handle and we're gonna just stretch it so it cuts off that end. Do the same thing over here. Once again, if you click it, press F for fit view, zoom out a little bit, you can see the black handle and we just need to cut off the end. And then we also need to do it back down here. Once again, I'm gonna click that little part or zoom in on it and click on it. And then we can do F for fit view and we need to pull the little black edge down here so it cuts straight off. And we gotta do the same thing on the other side. Easiest to just click that little part, do your F for fit view, and then you can zoom out a little and see the adjustment we need to make. There you go, friends. Now I am going to do Control D. Let's move that over here. I'm gonna stand it up. Fit view again gets me close. Corner view makes it easy. We are gonna rotate and do D to drop. And then I'm gonna delete this one. And I wanna put this one right in this hole. Click on the place we wanna set it. Hit D. And then you can nudge it close with the arrow keys. I'm gonna put the work plane down real quick so it's easier to see. Let's click on the yellow one, hold shift, click on the green one, do a line. Since the green one's in the right spot, make it the master, and then find that edge. Now, friends, our parts are set for actually cutting them the way we want. And it's also a great example of why we build like this. When you have proven it looks perfect, we just need to make the pieces. Notice there's one, two, three, four of these. So I'm gonna do Control D, and then I'm gonna nudge it back here. So there's two, and then I'm gonna do Control D and D, and then I'm gonna grab the green one and bring it to this side. And then we'll do Control D on the green one one more time. Let's rotate it 90 degrees. Notice if you stay inside this circle, it snaps to those lines and is way cooler. And then we have got this arranged really efficiently on our cardboard. Make sure yours fits nice and nifty like that. I'm gonna fit view on this one by hitting F, zoom out just a couple, and I'm gonna nudge these just a little over because we wanna use our cardboard as efficiently as possible. When you've got yours like this, make sure you show me. The next step is to grab all these parts. So you'll notice it's four and three is seven. You only want seven and we have to export them as an SVG. Simply make sure it says the seven shapes, make sure it says SVG, and then make sure you find your quick access and put them in the STL folder, and it has to say Tiny Bookshelf and your initials. 
when you're done with that, friends, we can go to either the Globe Forge or the OMT laser, and we can start cutting. Alrighty, friends, so I'm going to cut this video here, and I'm going to make separate videos for if you cut on the OMT or the Glowforge. Friends, I hope you had a ton of fun with the project, and you learned a little bit about how to nudge and arrange those little tabs so you can start making your own epic creations. Friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you got a question, comment, or a suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button, and last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me. HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.